T minus one minute, 15 seconds, and counting. The ground launch sequencer is now verifying that Columbia's three main engines are ready for ignition. The heaters around the joints of the solid rocket boosters are being turned off. In another 15 seconds, we'll, look, we'll get the command for auto sequence start. We have a go for auto sequence start. The baton has been passed from the Launch Control Center computers, and Columbia is now in charge of its own launch countdown. T minus 20 seconds. Columbia's vent doors are being moved and configured for flight. T minus 15, coming up on a go for main engine start. 12, 11, 10, T minus 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Solid rocket ignition and liftoff. Liftoff of Columbia on a voyage to the future. Roll, Columbia. How's your roll, Columbia? Houston is now controlling the roll, roll maneuver underway and complete. Columbia is in a head down position on course for a 28 and a half degree flight, 160 nautical mile orbit. Board Columbia now beginning to throttle down as the orbiter passes through the air of maximum pressure on the vehicle in the lower regions of the atmosphere. Columbia is now just one nautical mile downrange from the launch site at an altitude of 17,000 feet. Accelerating now through 680 miles per hour. Engines are now beginning to throttle back up. Columbia, go at throttle up. Go at throttle up. All three engines are back at full throttle. Hydraulic systems and electrical systems performing well aboard, a, aboard uh, Columbia. Altitude 64,000 feet, range from the launch site 8 nautical miles. Columbia is now traveling 1,700 miles per hour. The next event is burnout and separation of the twin solid rocket boosters. That comes at about two minutes and four seconds. SRB separation is confirmed. Columbia is now 20 mi 29 miles from the launch site at an altitude of 173,000 feet, traveling 3,000 miles per hour. Columbia, performance nominal. Performance nominal. Columbia, two-engine Banjul. Two-engine Banjul. Performance thus far in the mission has been as expected, and Columbia can reach Banjul, uh, the TAL site, in the event of a single engine failure. However, all three engines are still performing at full throttle. Three good hydraulic systems and electrical systems aboard Columbia. The orbiter is now 55 nautical miles downrange from the launch site at an altitude of 248,000 feet, traveling 3,400 miles per hour.